Hey baseball softball fans, Sam here with Hit Run Steel. Today we're going to talk about finishing and two different ways in which you can finish, right? So depending on what kind of athlete you are, how strong you are, how we land, where we're comfortable, find what works for you and stick with it, all right? So we're going to go over finishing hips square to our target and or hips closed, right? And then we're going to talk about finishing hips open more in a figure four position. So we're going to talk about hips square first. So when we land here in both ways here, we're going to land on that 45 degree. Lace is pretty close to being at our catcher, but on a 45 degree with our toe here, staying in tight to my power line, right? And I'm going to push that knee, drive through my front side here on that front side resistance. And I'm going to rotate on this toe here. I'm going to rotate and come all the way through. So when I finish my hips are square to the target. All right, figure four, when we land, we're gonna land on this 45 and we're gonna have nice front side resistance and we're gonna maintain this 45 degree angle through my finish. I'm gonna stay in really tight with my arm, just like the hips closed finish, right? And see the reason why they call it a figure four is because when the strike foot comes through, I'm foot to foot on the middle of this shoe. So not behind, not in front here. I'm nice and tight with that drag foot to my power line and I'm creating a figure four with my backside. When we talk about these different ways of finishing, you just have to figure out what works best for you. So some athletes are very strong, they're very powerful, and they can hit on this front side and they can maintain that figure four without getting into this hip here and letting this hip fly at our catcher. We wanna stay nice and tall and keep that front side resistance and stay open here with our hips. Right, And some pitchers do a very good job at controlling that front side resistance and getting all the way through without releasing through that front side. So what we wanna make sure that we're teaching here is we're teaching that front side resistance. That is really, really what we wanna feel here. And we don't wanna let it go, right? So when we hit here, we don't wanna be traveling forward and give up on that front side resistance. That's gonna lose us some accuracy and lose us a ton of speed. So we wanna hit really hard right here and we wanna get through that front side without letting that front side resistance go through our pitch. Same goes for hitting and pushing back. We're gonna lose a lot of speed and accuracy. Once again, we're gonna hit here and pull away. We don't ever wanna finish in that unless we're throwing some form of a pitch that forces us to do so, right? So when we hit here, we wanna make sure we're feeling that resistance and finishing all the way through, whether it's a figure four or a hips closed finish. I hope this helps.